Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 4x4 test tent with another unboxing video. We got another banger from Grandmaster LEDs. This is the 4x4 version of the tent ultimate. And you guys have already seen the 5x5. Now you're going to see the 4x4. Let's get into it. All right, there we are. Got it all hooked up and ready to go. Let's take a quick look at the, uh, the light itself here. As you can see, it covers the entire 4x4. Wall to wall coverage. Got the uh, two bars on each end spaced a little closer to the edge. Get a little bit, little bit more edge uh, coverage there. Looking great. Wow. Yeah, look at that thing, man. That is killing the game. Hell yeah. Driver is a little bit smaller than uh, some of the other Grandmaster LED lights. So that's that's nice to see. This thing's actually super light. It was really nice to put together because it wasn't as big as the 5x5 version too. So that's pretty killer too. <laughs> For real. Because putting that 5x5, that thing, was, that thing was a bear to put together. This is a much, much, much better experience for me personally anyway. Hell yeah, man. Well, let's uh, take a look at the accessories. All right, when you get your light uh, and open it up, it's actually packed extremely well. Um, there's there, I don't see any way that this light could really get damaged in shipping because there is so much packing in it. It's packed incredibly well. So really good on that. And it's also a pretty small box too, and being light, it's not as likely to get damaged by uh, UPS because they love to put holes in big heavy boxes. I think they do it on purpose because they're angry because it's a big heavy box. But that's just my theory. But yeah, there we go. Grandmaster level show. Always one of those in there. Check that out. We've got the accessory bag here. I've already used the, uh, the hanging kit. Really nice hanging kit uh, to hang it up there. Then we've got the uh, rope ratchets. Of course, the uh, metal gear on the rope ratchets. You got some uh, wire ties. And then of course the uh, the phone cord, RJ45 for the uh, the old school phone cord for the uh, daisy chain and whatnot, or uh, uh, controller, I guess. Probably daisy chain more than likely. I don't know if this one, does this one work with the controller? I'm gonna have to ask GML on that one. I'm sure he'll watch this and he'll probably say it in the comments if it works or not with one of the controllers. All right, now this is the uh, manual here. Awesome, they have great manuals. Their, their manuals are, are top tier, that's for sure. Got a lot of info about the light and some other great info there. If I can get that in there for you. If you wanna pause and read that, feel free. We're just gonna kinda go through it pretty quickly here. Spectrum. The light itself safety warnings on this page will completely ignore that uh, actually look at this let's see we got controller look at that we don't even have to have GML comment because it says right here in the man I told you these guys have good manuals man they actually tell you things about the light <laughs> instead of just like some weird pictures and maybe a couple words uh, so yeah, controller sold separately. You can use a controller with it. Uh, here's all your uh, signal inputs for everything. If you need that, if you happen to lose your manual, there you go. Some more info about the light. It weighs 37 pounds, including driver box. I told you, it's pretty light. Most of the GML lights are like the Borg and whatnot are like 50, 50 plus pounds. All right, so it tells you how to put it together. Take the frames out of the box, take the accessories out of their bags, and then you just line up the, the two main bars and you snap the bars right in. There's no screwing or anything. The bars snap right in. Super, super easy assembly. Then you throw the, the wire hangers on there, throw the rope ratchets on there, and you're good to go. Good to go. Oh yeah, you gotta latch this thing too. Forgot about that. That's on the middle two bars, and then that's where you 
hang the driver or uh, have the driver sit and it actually attaches on there as well there we go that's going to tell you about the driver attaching the driver attach the cables and then you are good to go look at that notes in case you want to write some notes and a big fatty logo look at that i love their logo i need to get a banner for the grow room here but yeah let's uh let's get some readings man i think i may have forgotten to uh check the height so if i if you see this clip it means i did forget and i'm adding it in later but there's uh 25 inches off the deck which gives us a 24 inch canopy because the sensors are about one inch all right we are set up and ready to go look at this bad boy man I'm telling you <laughs> like i said it just clips in like you just hit these little clips they clip right in you plug the the bar into the the other bar here into the fixture everything's plug and play excellent quality everything fit perfectly super killer hell yeah let's get this down to uh minimum here oh that was below minimum <laughs> All right, let's kick uh, the par meter on. There we go. And take some readings. So it looks like we are looking at 76 watts and we're right about at the uh, seedling and clone area. Let me lift it up just a little bit. There we go. That's a little better for seedlings and clones. 150, 160. But look at how even the coverage is, guys. Holy crap. I mean, these two corners back here, I explain this every time pretty much if anybody's new. These are like the, the better corners. They have full reflection. That one's just got a little portal over there that kind of messes it up. This is like the golden corner that's usually the best. And then this one's the worst corner because it has the big hole here plus no reflection. And then this one has the big hole there and only partial reflection. And this thing's killing it. Absolutely killing it. But you want to see something crazy? Look at the center reading. <laughs> Friggin' 20 par. 20 par, 20 par off or less. This light is, in my opinion, the most even light on the market today as far as coverage goes in a 4x4 tent that's what they designed these lights to do the tent ultimate lights the 4x4 and the 5x5 were designed to be the most even coverage light on the market hands down and they accomplished it a hundred percent you can even get it even uh more uh fine-tuned if you want to drop it down to like 12 inches and then you can get even even more even coverage but you can see how even the coverage is at 24 inches. And I prefer to have a little bit more grow space because sometimes in flower, you know, the plants will really shoot up. Maybe you don't go in there for a, a day or two because you water every other day. Your plants could grow six inches in, in those two days. So I don't know how about having a 12 inch canopy, but uh, you can do it if you want to. Some people do. Some people do. I prefer a little bit higher. Speaking of higher, let's go a little bit higher. Let's go to veg, which I like to be around 350 for veg, 350 to 400. Right about there, actually. So that's going to be, where are we at on the knob? About 40% on the knob. And that's going to hit us at uh, 368 to 380 in the back. 334, 308 in the front. Center reading, here we go. Check this out. 417 damn son killer man barely any difference and that's at 24 inches let's uh let's go ahead and kick it up go for flower now for me flower starts at 600 that's pretty much the base whoa we went super fast there it's pretty much where the, where the base of flower, anything below 600, 
I've never really been happy or quite happy with the quality as far as like the nug density and whatnot. So let's say around 600 right there. I think that's going to be good. Steady, steady the light a little bit. So we got uh, 612, 630, 506, 550. Center reading. What do you think? 695. We aren't even at 100 par difference yet from the outside to the center. Killing the game, guys. And this is at the base of flower. And we're only at... What, 65% probably? Yeah. This thing is going to be a beast. Absolute beast. And keep in mind, this is at 24 inches. 24 inches off the canopy. Man. Check this out. Let's push it. Here we go. 700. 800. 900. Can we get 1,000? Hell yeah, we can. Can we get 1,100? Oh, blow it open all the way. Let's go. 1,100. There it is, guys. 1,100 in the corners. We got 1,122, 1,159, 931, and 9, or excuse me, 1018 around there. Light's still swinging a little bit. Holy hell. Let's take a center reading. What do you guys think? You think it'll be 100? You think it'll be a little over 100? You think it'll be 200? A lot of them are 200 or more. Difference from the corner to the center. So let's take a look. And booyah! Look at that. We are barely over 100. Barely over 100. If you take that corner over there, the perfect corner, 1159 to 1267, we're barely over a hundred par difference from the very corner to the center. That is awesome, guys. Like I said, most even coverage light on the market. We are at a hundred percent power, maxed out as far as she goes, and we have got incredibly even coverage across the board. Killing the game, guys absolutely killing the game so if you're looking for a light for your 4x4 tent and you want incredible coverage and enough uh actual photons to blast your plants and grow massive monsters this is the one man this is the one if you can handle 1100 par you are going to grow some massive nuggets you got to keep your uh, ph and your nutrients in line to be able to handle 1100 without uh Anything going wrong, but you can do it. You can do it. Let's go, baby. Let's uh, let's take out the uh, spectrometer here. We'll take a, a reading. We'll see how nice this spectrum is here. It looks really good to me. I really love the uh, the the way they have the, the diodes laid out with the coloring and everything. That is killer. I mean, look at that shit. Name me a prettier looking light on the market. And then there again, it's got the diodes bunched up at the end for some end coverage at both ends. And then you got these bars next to each other for better coverage. This thing has just got every piece of, of even coverage technology that's out there today. And that's why it works so well. GML knows what he's doing. All right. Get this we got zeroed out here let's take a reading see what we got there it is that is a great spectrum look at that we got the red mountain right there at 660 massive red spike got the 740 bump plenty of deep and far red 680 660 740 Got a little bit of uh, green and yellow, some orange in there. Not not too much, though. It's not overpowering. Some companies overpower on those, and they kind of cheat. Because those, those are, while they're, while they're needed, they're not the most powerful growing, uh, what am I trying to say, uh, Kelvin spectrum. They're not the best. 
you're looking for red and you're looking for blue. So we got double blue spike as well. Speaking of blue, that's a GML thing. Not very many companies do the double blue spike. So they got you covered on the blue. Really, really good. Killing the game, guys. Killing the game. Man, this thing's killer. Hell yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and let it warm up and take some heat readings and we'll uh, we'll wrap it up. All right, we are back and I've let it warm up for about an hour or so. Let's take a look and see what we're looking at here. I don't see any, uh, any major issues. Looks like the hottest is 121. Got a little bit of heat at the end here on the two middle bars. I know they're probably carrying a little bit more power there to distribute to the other ones it looks like maybe. I don't know, we're a little warm on this end too. How about the other end? Oh yeah, both the ends. It's not interesting, it's a little bit warmer on the ends. Wonder why that is. 120 though is not <laughs> not very warm to tell you. If you've seen my videos, you've seen 130, 135 very regularly. So 121 is not really very high. Don't let me uh, my surprise fool you because that's actually really low. <laughs> driver box isn't even 100 degrees. Right next to the driver, the bar is 104. 97 or 100 101 yeah not bad at all great even even coverage and even uh cooling as well for the most part hell yeah guys this thing is a banger definitely check it out we got the uh discount codes below if you want to pick one up for yourself or uh, learn more about it Make sure you hit the website down below also, more discount codes and everything. And until next time, guys, happy growing.